Hello and welcome to Socially Distant Discover Nature. Now these videos are going to take place instead of the physical St. Nick sessions because there was a lockdown. Wait a minute. This is feeling all eerily familiar. Yes, I'm afraid it's happened. We have lockdown 2.0 to contend with but we can still get our little fix of nature, a little bit of outdoorsness and fresh air to try and keep ourselves more or less sane. Let's be open and honest, it is pretty grey, miserable and misty out there, but there are still naturey things that we can do and find to enrich our souls if that's not too grand. Today we're going to tackle identification of two species of tree, which are more or less related, they're both in the Acer genus. We're going to look at sycamore and field maple. So we'll start off with the sycamore tree. Now these have big leaves. We're talking seriously big when they get fully grown. They can be as big as your face. Well, I don't know how big your face is. Suddenly they can get as big as my face as we can now demonstrate with this, the sycamore leaf. You can also see it's got almost that classic-y maple leaf pattern, like on the Canadian flag. It's not quite the same, but there are, there are similarities, and you've got lobes to it, these sort of points. One, two, three, four, five, with lots of sort of jaggedy edges, and the lobes themselves have quite sharp points to them. So those are big big sycamore leaves to look out for. Even when the sycamore leaves are smaller, not quite as big as that, they still maintain that classic sycamore shape of one, two, three, four, five points of jaggedy teeth between them. Sycamore leaves also have largely uh, a fungal infection. They've got black spots on them. This is the tar spot fungus, possibly see them on here, lots of black dots. I very rarely see any sycamore leaves without them, so it can't be doing too much harm to the tree itself. It is a good identification feature and you can see it from some distance away. So if you're seeing big maple leaves with black spots, chances are you're honing in on a sycamore tree. Sycamore also have these very distinctive seed pods, which are the, the seeds with these papery wings attached to them in a pair. I've heard lots of names for them, such as spinning jennies, whirly gigs, helicopters. They're very distinctive. And if you look at their shape, the wings also form a slight angle as if they're veering towards a V pattern. And this helps distinguish them from the field maple, which also have the winged seeds, but they tend to be flatter, almost like a straight line. If you want to attempt to identify the tree by the bark, it's another extra clue. I'm terrible at it, but sycamores generally have a sort of silvery brown bark when they're younger, but as they get older it starts to fragment a bit into little fragmented plates that can be easily peeled off. If you're looking for the buds for the sycamore tree, they are in pairs, opposite sides of the stem, so pair, 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 then a terminal bud. They're bright green, they're a sort of oval to egg shape, fairly big, quite obvious, especially in a sort of dull winter's day, you can see this splash of green buds for the coming spring. Good ID feature. The field maple, on the other hand, has much smaller leaves than the sycamore. Because it is a maple, it does have a slightly similar shape and pattern in that there are five lobes, so one, two, three, four, five, but you can see there aren't really many jagged teeth the lobes are much more gentle and rounded in shape. You can also form the shape of a field maple leaf by using two Vulcan salutes simultaneously. Put them together, you've got your central lobe, two side lobes, and then these mini extra side lobes at the bottom. Star Trek is helping you learn. Field maples also have the winged seed pods like the sycamores, and all of these seed pods can also be known as samaras, which I only found out recently. But the field maple, their wings are more forming a straight line, a flat line, as opposed to the sycamore, which is more of a V shape. 
As with the sycamore, the buds of the field maple are in those opposite pairs along the stem, but they're much smaller and they're a kind of greyish colour. They're certainly nowhere near the bright green of the sycamore buds. So those are two fairly easy trees to identify and they're quite common. So if you go to a local park, nature reserve, any form of green space, you probably should encounter at least one of them. And that's it for today's episode. I really would urge you to get out there when you can on your socially distant walks, regardless of the weather, wrap up warm, go looking for trees. They're great compared to say, insects that are all kind of hibernating or dead at the moment, and birds that are potentially running away from you. Trees don't run away! As far as I know, that would be nightmarish. Yes, don't think about that. Trees are good. So now with this video, you can identify sycamore and field maple, and with our previous video, you can also identify ash and hazel. So that's already four species of tree. So you're becoming a marvelous botanist as we progress. So yeah, go out, enjoy, stay safe, stay as sane as we all can given the circumstances. And yeah, try not to get too distracted by the dog in the background. She can see into my very soul and she does not like what she finds. Thank you very much for watching, take care and goodbye for now.